kind monkey. Oh, help me, help me, please. Things went south in the mountain and I barely escaped. But on my way down, Gwise captured me. I've been kept here for three days. But now my luck has returned. My savior appeared here right in front of me. Should you extend your mercy to save my family? Uh, I'll repay your kindness at any cost. Master got it right. The last story comes out to us. Oh, uh, Sam. My camera's not back. Please don't leave me. These eyes have seen prettier disguises. Uh, Yaogwai! Your true face! Out with it! If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true! <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The Bull has no daughter! Dare to fool me, scoundrel! <laughs> I know who you are. My mother is Princess Fairfox. You killed her. <clears throat> After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, brother came back from Bodhisattva Guan Yin and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind, to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. 
He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup. Imprisoned father kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother Samadhi Fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no. My father is dying. Please, kind monkey, help me and my family! A perilous place this is. Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. No time to lose now! Follow me! This way! <laughs> Wanted monkey! Wanted star! <laughs> Wanted dead or alive! <laughs> Halt! Intruders to the Princess Palace face! Death!
think you can hide your secret wish from me. You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I owe my life to Father, and to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi. I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the Destined One had arrived. <laughs> the Destined One? Who doesn't even know what he's destined for? Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, 
Your situation is grave. Do you not see who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly, just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me, and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I call for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock, munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. <laughs> Hmm. No, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days too. We were so happy back then. What in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my, my hoof. hoof. You deserve, deserve to know, to know before we kiss. kiss. You will live to repent this! Filthy <sighs> lowlife! You dare take her form and beguile me! My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson! Vile beast! Your savagery knows no cure! But you will behave once my sourceless water from Tushita drops. I've aided your journey once. Now I shall aid you again on your way to death. You like this thing!
Bring down the drift. Goodbye. Swift! From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges the divide. Now you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host. Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter. been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness 
is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> Already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wu Kong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> <sighs> You, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there.
I tolerate no evil under my nose. Neither does my axe. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. Heed my words. The Red Boy's carts are nothing more than a distraction. Thinks he can outwit me. <laughs> bah! That brat! <sighs> Make haste and head up the mountain. We must figure out what he is planning. Hm. They are called five element carts for a reason. What's your tally? Very well. The entrance is secured for now. You can go first, and I'll catch up with you later. For you. you should have spared me a cart. I can see the key from me. I wonder what's behind. Or I, I feel blind. We should find the king's mouth. The beast we beast is treasured by the king as his own king.
treated me well. To die for him, I would not regret it. But I failed, brother. Failing his mission is what I regret. My king must have done something reckless for that dumb boy. The truth of her wager lies beyond that door. <laughs> that cursed cart was no match for me. I, or, I went easy on it. That's all. <laughs> Quite a good lad you are, but remember, uh, don't be swayed. Stay true. Come on! Watch 
Whatever you're slacking off! Yeah! I will roll you over!
master bade this child be born, but he never knew my struggles. <sighs> How can we but follow the master's word? Rakshasi, you know it was he who made you drink from the river of childbearing. Shut it. You shall never speak of it. The king knows why I had to drink it. But I haven't glimpsed him ever since then. He made it another reason for his absence. Rakshasi, your husband shirks a dishonor this way. He granted you this cave with his Mount Bishwe beast as its sentinel. He's compromised enough for the sake of our master. You will seal your lips on this. Our family would be doomed if anyone knew the truth behind this child. Fear not. Master bids me aid you in secret. You and the bull, you will rear this child to manhood. And when the boy comes of age, well, on that day, he will be living proof of the dark deeds of Mount Lingshan. Father, I brought him here. It's the destined one. Brother is not around. You can hand it over to him now. Brother will surely give up on his plan once it's returned. And then we will be a family again. You mischievous mother. You dare to push your luck, but always have a way out. Only you came back at the wrong time. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the Destined One here to save you! I may be unwell, but I am not blind. You are not blind. How can you say that to me? I went through flames to find the Destined One for you. For you, Father, don't you see? out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. That can wait.
yourself quite something, huh? Have fun with this! Yeah! Destined, deprived, it's all the same. Don't ever believe their bullshit. You are your choices, your causes and effects, not what you're called. Thanks, 
to this false death talisman. Poor Keeper. Seems his legacy was his only offer after all. No wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <sighs> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf. Let's go to a beat. Way! Holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! My king. 
I'm sorry for my weakness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plant in fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames I shan't stray. Vain was my flame for a revenge destined to stray. Their delight lies in our submission, kneeling and begging. Witness it. Uh...